Got one more quick segment for you guys today. I thought this was amusing, and maybe you will too. There's an article that came out actually back in May that I just saw from Anime Hunch titled Spy Family Mangaka says he doesn't like Anya and other characters. Apparently in an interview, Kato said, I gave up on what I originally wanted to draw and drew what the world wanted to see, not myself, so I have no attachment to the characters. Apparently even saying in another interview that he doesn't even really like spies, and that he apparently started working on Spy Family to break out of artist block and considers the manga as rehabilitation work. Just know that some people have disputed the validity of those quotes, saying that the article is basically clickbaiting. I don't know if that's true or not, and I am very short on time today. Still, the article did include some evidence along with their claims. I just can't read the hiragana, katakana, or kanji very well, so... Not much I can do with this, make of it what you will. Ultimately, I want to show you this response though. I got a laugh out of this, and maybe you will too. Screw Soiny Sensor <laughs> Sensor Station, excuse me, says, this is how superior Japan is to the West when it comes to telling stories. A literal throwaway series written to overcome writer's block is leagues better than just about everything the West is putting out. It's just rather funny, if that article is true and the whole, like, spy family being a thing to just get over writer's block is true as well. And you take a look at all the shows that are doing poorly in the West and how successful Spy Family is, and well, the take seems rather accurate, actually. <laughs> I just thought that was all amusing and interesting information about the mangaka as well, of course, at the beginning, uh, comedic factor aside. Let me know what you think in the comments, and tomorrow I should be back at the news with some more heavy subjects. So I'll see you then, and once again, thanks for tuning in.